Before we leave Gazelyert, we've got an appointment with the imam back at the old church. Originally the Church of St. Gregory, this was first built in 385 AD. While Christians worshipped here 1600 years ago, today it functions as a mosque. The imam has agreed to a short interview. Imam means teacher. He'd be the equivalent of a Christian pastor. Thank you for allowing us to be in your mosque. The government pays your wage. How do you contribute to your community? He says that my primary duty is to lead the prayer in the mosque, which means that they're also the caretaker of the mosque, mm -hmm. and give information to the people whenever they want to have some religious education, information. So be available to them to answer questions. We don't have regular work hours. We have to be alert 24-7, um, meet the needs of the community when there is the wedding, when there is a funeral, when there is a circumcision, when they're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Imam is among the very first people they would seek for help, advice. Five times every day I hear the call to prayer. It says, God is great, there is one God, he is Allah, Muhammad is his prophet. Does that mean Muhammad is the only prophet or the last prophet? And where does that leave Jesus? It is our faith to believe in all prophets. Kesinlikle Hz. Muhammed, Hz. İsa, Hz. İbrahim, Hz. Musa hiçbir arasında fark yok. There is no difference to us between Muhammad, Moses, Abraham or Jesus. Hz. Muhammed son peygamber olarak. The only difference is we recognize Muhammed as the last prophet. Okay. If you could share one message to the United States of America, what would that be? He requests that people do not believe the distorted view of Islam, but try to understand and learn what really it is. Islam eşittir terörizm görmesinler. He requests people not to see Islam equals to terrorism, because it is not. When the Imam calls the people to pray, He's saying, God is great, there is one God, and Muhammad is his prophet. This global wave of praise races as fast as the sun five times a day across Islam, from Malaysia to Morocco and beyond. Throughout Islam, fundamentalism is on the rise. Many Turks see this as a threat to their democracy. Modern-minded Turks, while still Muslims, want their government to preserve the separation of mosque and state. In fact, a constitutional obligation of Turkey's military is to overthrow its own government if ever it becomes a theocracy. It's a complicated issue, and there is a rising tide of fundamentalism here among Turks. But the people I've met seem determined to maintain the secular ideals of Ataturk.